Hey everybody, this is Jacob Haglock with Haglock Media, and today I'm going to show you my presets to make your voice sound good in Adobe Audition. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we need a vocal track to edit. So let's record something right now. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So we've got these two. Jam 102.3. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. WIMS. Just top and tail some of that stuff. So now all we have to do is bring it into the multi track. And the reason I bring it into the multi track is because I don't want to do destructive editing. And what destructive editing is, is that once you apply something to the waveform in the waveform editing suite, it is there and it is locked in unless you automatically hit undo. So you always want to put effects on in the multi-track. That way you're keeping your waveform channel clear, but you're running it through a bunch of sound effects. So the first sound effect that I always put on is under amplitude and compression, and it is called amplify. And that allows me to stage the gain setting to what I want it to be. So if it's too low, I can bring it up. And vice versa, if it's too high, I can bring it down. So the first thing I'm going to do is play the audio file and see where our levels are for measurement. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So the highest level is around here which is minus 10 db let me bring this up so you can see a little bit i'll put it over here so you can see the actual levels so yeah minus 10 right here okay so the first thing honestly it's not that bad because that's our peak and for the most part, if you listen to it, Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102. It's around minus 18. So if anything, it can actually go up just about 2 dB. So I type in 2 right there. And that is our amplify. Okay, so now our gain is set on, on a level that leaves us a lot of headroom. We're not messing with the volume knob right here. We're just using Amplify to set our gain. The next one that I do is also under Amplitude and Compression, and it's called Dynamics Processing, which is a compressor. This is the compressor, which under this graph mode, you have uh, decibel levels. And the points that you want to do, actually, if you first start off, hit Reset. Now you get this nice line. The first thing that I do when I approach any audio file is, and I put this compressor on, is I take this middle point and I bring it over here until my threshold on number segment one says uh, anything compress anything above minus 30 dB. The ratio is at two to one. That is controlled by this point right here. So I usually do a three to one ratio of compression. And I'll let you listen to what that sounds like now. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So you can hear that, yes, it boosts the level a lot, but what it's really doing is making the the waveform even across from the high peaks of my voice and the low valleys of my voice. And what I'm going to do now is 
check the volume. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So overall, it was just b- above minus 12, so around minus 11. And then the, the peak right here is at a minus 9. That still gives us a good amount of headroom. However, to continue to show this gain staging, uh, I'm going to click to settings from my... Di- so here's the graph. Here's the settings. Go to my gain processor. We're leveling gain, and the output gain control is right here. If I'm at minus 9, let's start with a minus 5 and see what that gets us. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. That's really good because it's in between minus 18 and minus 12, which gets us a lot of headroom for uh, further down the road. So that one is done. We've applied, we've put amplify on there. We've put dynamic processing, our first compressor. Now we're going to do equalizer. And I use filtering EQ, parametric equalizer. And always start with the default. And the first thing that I do is I just turn off all of these buttons and I work on them one by one. And the ones that we're going to use are 2, 3, 4, and 5. Also a high-pass filter. The reason that I do a high-pass filter for a voice is to get rid of any mic rumblings or uh, resonance in the low end. So the, fr- the human ear doesn't hear any anywhere below 100 hertz. So I use that as kind of my benchmark. Um, I click on this drop down menu, which allows for the type of curve that we're limiting. And I usually go around 80 hertz. Just roll off that base. Now that I've got that set up, I'm going to turn it off. For number two, this is my low end. So I want to find the sweet spot of my voice with the low end by sweeping the frequencies. And f- sweeping the frequencies is literally by playing, and I'm going to make sure that this is on loop. Playing the audio. 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So we're not doing too much. We're just putting a a 3.6 dB boost on there. And I swept the frequencies and I found that around 134 hertz kind of makes my low end sound better. And then I notched it by this third option, which either opens up the frequencies or kind of just goes to just this frequency. It allows you to kind of only push up the certain frequencies around 134 hertz. So I found that one. Now I'm going to look towards the high end of my voice. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. That one sounds good to me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a second high-end. MS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 
W-I-M-S. Okay, and the last one that I always do is uh, around 1K, the voice starts to get muddy. That's where a lot of the mid mid tones are. So I just bring that down a little bit and notch it, and I'll turn it on and off. Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. You're listening to Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. It kind of just cleans it up a little bit. So now I can apply all of these now that I have selected them, and here's what it sounds like with just the EQ. Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. You're listening to Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. And once you apply all of them, sometimes uh, you need to adjust certain frequencies like I did with the number four here. Now let's check the gain on it, because sometimes when you bring up frequencies in your voice, you bring up the gain as well. You're listening to Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. You're listening to Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. So that's at a solid minus 13. That's really good. Uh, I'm just going to bring it down just to keep it in between this minus 15 and minus 18. So I'm just going to go minus 4. See what that does. Jam 102.3, W-I-M-S. You're listening to... You know what? I'm going to move up minus two. Jam 102.3 WIMS. That's about good right there. So once again, every effect that we add on, we're at we're staging the gain level in between minus 18 and minus 15. The last one that I put on is a multiband compressor. And that just overall compresses the voice with the EQ. And the one that I usually start off with is Pop Master as a preset. There are other presets in here, but Pop Master kind of brightens up the voice for me. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. And that's really good, but it also boosts the vocals up a whole bunch. So what I'm going to do now is the output gain. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. Let's go minus nine. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. All right. So those are the four effects that I put on a voice to make it sound really good. Now, let's listen to it without. I can turn off the effects right here. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So you can tell that without the effects, it's a little nasally, and I am quite nasally today because I've got allergies going on. Um, but with the with the effects applied, I've taken out the nasal by kind of bringing down that mid in the EQ. Um, everything is overall compressed very nicely. Everything sounds really good with the effects on. So amplify... Dynamics Processing, Parametric Equalizer, and Multiband Compressor. And what we can do now is we can take these four effects and we can save them and create our own presets so that when you are recording next and editing next, you already have this preset. You don't have to go through it again. So make sure you have the track selected with the effects and we're going to click on Save Effects Rec as Preset. What we're going to call this is uh, Radio VO or Jake VO or whatever VO voiceover. 
hit OK. Our preset has now changed to Radio VO. So if I were to record something or bring something in here, which now in track two, it sounds completely, there's nothing on it. Jam 102.3 WIMS. Actually, let's separate these. We're going to put this up here. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. So now that we've got our effects on track one and track two, we have another voiceover. Let's go to our presets and we will go to radio VO, which is what we just created. And here are our presets already done. Jam 102.3 WIMS. You're listening to Jam 102.3 WIMS. And that's how to put the four effects on your voice that I believe make your voice sound radio worthy and then save them as a preset so that if you need them in the future, they're there for you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, ring that bell so you're notified on any future videos. I'm Jacob Haglock with Haglock Media and I will see you in the next video.